The book is called Native American Picture Books of Change, and uh, it was it kind of, it was an evolving story. It really became a quest. Um, in the 80s, I had a small art gallery um, that specialized in original art from children's books. And one day someone walked in and said, you know, there are um, books that are illustrated by Indian artists, by Native American artists. And I became very interested in that, very involved in looking um, at these books. And I came to the Western History Collection of the Denver Public Library. That's where I first saw um, I Am a Pueblo Indian Girl. And of course, they, uh, you had a copy of um, uh, In My Mother's House which won the Caldecott in 1941 because Felino Herrera, who was the artist, uh, a Pueblo artist, had done these beautiful illustrations. I, so I, that was really my quest, and um, I thought someone should write some articles about these books. They were too beautiful to be forgotten because at that time nearly all of them were out of print except for in my mother's house. From the 1900s on, Indian relations were very, very difficult. The <clears throat> tribes were having a terrible time. Um, and there were terrible health issues and education issues. When Franklin Roosevelt was elected, they attempted to have a much more enlightened policy towards Native Americans. He built more reservation schools instead of the boarding school. There were still boarding schools, but they were um, more humane. I mean, there were terrible horror, horror stories in the beginning of the century up into the 20s. One of the changes that came about was the creation of bilingual children's books in order to teach English to Indian children. Something like 21 bilingual children's books published. Um, Navajo English, Spanish English for the Pueblo Indians, Lakota Sioux English, and there were two Hopi English books. And all of them were illustrated by Native American artists from those tribes. This book um, shows Tete, whose grandfather, typically in, um, and not just in Pueblo culture, um, but in many Native American cultures, it is the grandfather who sits uh, in the evening, in the winters, uh, usually in the winter, and tells tales by the fire. And these are, this is kind of the oral history that um, Native American children receive. And I think this is a beautiful image and we do have this in the, in the, uh, in the, in the exhibit. These are very pretty corn maiden and happy boy. This is again a beautiful um, color image that is in the exhibit. This is blue flower. This is from Five Little Kachinas. We only have a few pieces from Five Little Kachinas, but this was published in 1930, and um, it's, a, it's a very interesting book. This one is from Swift Eagle of the Rio Grande, and it's, it's a wonderful, it's a dance scene that Fred Cabote did early in his life. This is about 1928, and the Koshari, who are the Hopi clowns, but they're kind of sacred also. And um, the Koshari tweaked Swift Eagle's nose. Um, they bring gifts to the children. This is another dance scene, again, from Swift Eagle of the Rio Grande. There are some beautiful dance scenes in Swift Eagle. And again, Fred Cabote is known for his dance scenes. Um, now, this is from In My Mother's House. And this, is, this book has been in print. It won the Caldecott in 1941. This book has been uh, continuously in print for 60 years, 60 some years. And this is um, the Arroyo's father telling children about the land. There are very traditional pictures from in my mother's house. There's the cornfield. This is the family picking pinion. This is something, and an, one thing I learned is that Pinion nuts or pine nuts don't happen every year. 
so it's a scene for celebration, and we still cherish pine nuts. But these are wonderful original illustrations. This washing hair, again, this is traditionally done before ceremonies. And another, well, this too, the horse is grazing. This is the only color image we have from in my mother's house, plastering the house. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful image of the adobe, building the adobe house. This is my favorite image of the Navajo weaving. I think that it, it really um, is a metaphor for weaving, weaving um, the rugs and weaving the culture.